Despite the government's call for calm, a few dozen protesters showed up outside the U.S. Embassy again. The prosecutor general said four people are being questioned after protesters on Tuesday climbed over the embassy's walls and took down the U.S. flag. Nine Coptic Egyptian Americans were also put on an airport watch list. They're believed to have contributed to the production of the anti-Islam movie that led to the embassy protest. Still, these protesters were unfazed. They said they'd sacrificed their lives for the Prophet Muhammad and they vented their anger on the United States. The man behind the protest says he just wants to combat insults against Islam through legal and peaceful means. To do that, he says he formed a coalition made up of ultra-conservative Muslims. They called for Tuesday's protest, he says, after hearing that Christian fundamentalists planned to show the movie and follow it with a mock trial in which they would sentence the Prophet to death. We're fully aware that the U.S. administration is not responsible for the actions of individuals. But this was a message, because we know that as individuals we have no power to stop this absurdity. Why did you feel that it was your responsibility to take on this cause? For a while now, we've been witnessing many insults against Islam, Muslims and their symbols, and there's been no official reaction from entities such as Al-Azhar. They just take no action. Abdul Wairif says his group is not happy that young people who joined their protest brought down the U.S. flag. He also says there was no coordination with protesters in Libya and condemned the violence there. The Egyptian government's promise to pursue the producers of the film in court did not stop calls for more protests. Even the president's Muslim Brotherhood group urged people to gather peacefully on Friday to show their support for Islam's prophet. Rawi Al Jazeera, Cairo.